Hi, welcome to the Me and My Bass series. In this series, I will bore you with some interesting facts about some of the basses or bass related, audio related stuff I own. I will tell you how I did purchase them and why. Further, I will tell you my humble opinion about their playability and their sound. This time's up. We are going in depth. With a Squire Precision Pete Wentz. The first bass I ever reviewed on this channel was the Squire Peter Wentz bass. Uh, you can check that video right here. Uh, but where I ran through the specs really quick uh, then, I like to take a moment and do a more in-depth look at this bass and his name giver. First of all, who is Pete Wentz and why does he have a signature bass? Peter Lewis Kingston Wentz 3. Born June the 5th, 1979, is an American musician best known as the bassist and lyricist for the rock band Fallout Boy since 2001. Before Fallout Boy, Wentz was a fixture of the Chicago hardcore scene and was the lead singer and songwriter for Arma Angelus, a metalcore band. During Fallout Boy's hiatus from 2009 to 2012, Wentz formed the experimental electro-pop and dubstep group Black Cards. He owns a record label, DCD2 Records, uh, Fallout Boy returned from hiatus in February 2013 and have since released three number one albums. Wentz has also ventured into other non-musical projects including writing, acting and fashion. All in all, rather a busy guy. By the way, when I bought this bass, I hadn't got a clue who Pete Wentz was. Okay, let's take a look at this bass. Here is what Squire says about the Pete Wentz P bass. The Pete Wentz Precision Bass Guitar is a darkly beautiful instrument that rock your face off. It's all sleek and black and stuff and it is loaded with cool features like Pete's own red bed heart design on the body plus a black bed diamond fingerboard inlay at the 12th fret. Wentz has a signature on the back of the headstock and there is an eye-catching 3-ply red shell pickguard and a thunderous Duncan Design PB105 split single coil pickup. Okay, the model name is Pete Wentz Precision Bass and the series from Squire, this is the artist model. Uh, the body color is black, the, it has a polyuterine finish, the body material is Agatis, the neck shape has a C shape, uh, the frets there are 20 of them, are medium jumbo sized. The fretboard radius is 9.5 inch and the neck material is maple with a satin polyuterane finish. Uh, the nut width is 1.5 inch, the scale length 34 inches. The pickup configuration is a single split coil pickup. As I already said, the pickup is a Duncan designed a PB105 split single coil pickup. The controls are, there is only one, master volume. Hardware, it's chrome and the bridge is a standard four cell. The swing nut is a synthetic bone. There are also unique features on this base. The black dot precision inlays with black bed diamond inlay at the 12th fret. Red bed a hard graphic on the body separated laminated maple fingerboard rolled fingerboard edges signature on the back of the headstock 
and uh, it has chrome dome style knobs. The price was when it was just released $499. What is apparent is of course the fact that there is no tone knob. I wonder if it's done this way just because uh, Pete maybe had also removed the tone knob from his base or just to make it stand out. Here is a example how it sounds. I tried to make uh, three different styles of music, more or less, to see if this bass can be an all-rounder or not. Signal flow in this clip was as usual the bass direct into my UAD at Apollo Twin, which had an MPEG SVT simulation running on it. I used the Rock A preset. What I do not understand is why you would connect your name uh, to a brand as Squire. Not that Squire is a bad brand, but the fact that it is and always will be a sub brand of Fender. Maybe he did it because he knew that sometime later there would be a Fender Custom Shop Pete Wentz bass. That bass is by the way totally different than the Squire and has no similarities at all. I hope uh, that doesn't mean that Pete wasn't happy with this bass after all. If you know more about these basses, please let it know in the comments. Uh, I and everybody who also read these comments are very keen to learn. That's it for this uh, episode. If you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe. And I hope I see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. See you. Bye bye.